Hello and welcome to From Garden in the Point. I am Alice Erickson, the creator of this channel on YouTube. Today is special. I'm going to give you a tour. I'm going to give you a nice close up and a couple tips on the way how to get an amazing yield just like me. Wanted to show you the tortoise playpen. All the precautions have been met to make sure when they are in here, they're in no danger of anything. That right there is Domaki. He's named after an anime character from XX Holly. He's got plenty of things to sit here and eat if he wants to, or just play around with it. You got a cover to be under if it's the sun's too hot. The cover and the lid here is for his protection because we do have birds of prey here, including bald eagles in Newport. Gonna start off with showing you my cilantros and basils and herbs. This right here is two spicy uh, basils. I have been cutting off the bud so that way the energy is channeled into the leaves is what you harvest. And that way it doesn't all go to the buds. The cilantro I get for free throughout the year because it overseeds, which is awesome. I have some spicy oregano, some pineapple sage, some uh, marjoram, and then down at the bottom there, I have a gift that keeps giving, Morning Glory. I potted it once about four years ago and then it overseeded and I get it every year. It's beautiful. As you can see, these are all wild flowers, giving it back to the pollinators. You can actually see a bumble doing his thing right there. And these are some beautiful petunias. I have my bell peppers all lined up here. I have allowed them to go to bud after July 1st, and I did a calcium and phosphorus treatment, which is bone meal. That helps the roots become strong, and that way the energy is channeled correctly and goes through to the vegetable and the buds. Everything is fed the solar panels, which are leaves, and the buds are taken care of when you have proper root strength. And calcium, of course, helps as well. Hop spines. They get up to 20 feet. The sparrow birds sometimes have it go in there. It's quite funny. What you see here are the San Marzanos that I grew from in the house doing a hydroponically. They are doing quite well. They're giving me a nice yield. So pinching those suckers truly helps. Right there I have some flat leaf parsley, some basil, and some chives. And these are my Romas. They are doing very well. And these gorgeous beauties are my onions and shallots. I'll give you a nice close up over here of the hops. They are, have not developed yet, but they're starting at the buds, which is pretty neat looking. I have a bee balm right there that is giving back to the pollinators. I've got buds, so it should be blooming soon. In my corner here, I let it go wild because I want it to give back to the pollinators. I do put uh, wildflower seeds in there as well. These are my kale. They're recovering. I had some beetles go after it. I did a neem oil solution, which I did on a previous episode. My lettuces have bolted because it's been 90s here in Michigan. And I've tasted it. It tastes fine. I can still use it. If anything, it'll be tortoise chow. And these beauties are my brandy wines. They are doing phenomenal. Quite big. Almost like a monster, but in a good way. You have here all my hot peppers. In the front there is mole. Those are my jalapenos. These are my Anaheims. 
Poblano, Serrano, and my jewels, Dracula. The reason they call it that is because it gets red peppers, but the buds and the leaves are all dark purple. And there you have another poblano, and the other part of my lettuces, and another angle of the brandy wines. This is at the end of our deck, a boxed raised bed made for herbs, but I also mix in flowers to make sure the pollinators come and they're well fed as well and also take care of other things for me. So that's a wildflower mix. That is chamomile. I just have a begonia there. I have a perennial there that gets pink flowers and I thought that was a chive. It's a weed. So I'll replace it and I will get some of the flat leaf parsley from last year that's grown in the gravel from the pathway in the garden transplant basically. That is a Mexican tarragon. You have thymes that are two different types. That is a lemon and that is a German. And then you have some Greek oregano. This is the berry box. I did a video on how to get it started to do well. As you can see, I got amazing results. Let me show you a nice close up. This is raspberry plants. I have some strawberries. That's a blackberry that came back beautifully. And these gorgeous beauties are my blueberry plants. One is named a patriot. The other one, I don't remember the name of it, but it is by a veteran company that grows them. And there you go, I got a harvest. Absolutely beautiful. Everybody's neat and tidy and doing well this year. Thank you so much for viewing today. I hope my garden will inspire you to create new things and also get the same enjoyment that I have. It is amazing what getting in touch with nature, even if it's in a small scale, can do for your soul and happiness. Have a great day. Hope to see you soon.